so. Our first book is going to be From Head to Toe by Eric Carle. Sorry if I move a little bit weird too, the camera is <laughs> mirrored. But From Head to Toe from, by Eric Carle is kind of like a game of Simon Says. So, in this book, the animals are going to show us what they can do, and we're going to try to copy them. All right? So, if you have the space, everybody go ahead and stand up. Make sure you have plenty of room to move around. You're not going to hit anybody. You're not going to kick anything. All right? Got enough room? All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first animal is the penguin. The penguin, he can turn his head. Can you do it? Turn your head to one side. Turn your head to the other side. Shake it a little faster. Shake your hair out. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right, our next animal is going to be the giraffe, and he can bend his neck. Can you do it? I can do it. Bend it from side to side, back and forth. Good job. All right, our next animal is the buffalo. The buffalo can raise his shoulders. Can you do that? Raise them like this. You're all grouchy. <laughs> Up and down. Good job, guys. All right? Our next animal is the monkey. The monkey can wave his arms around. Can you do that? I can do that. I bet you can do that really well. Wave your arms around. Swing them like this. Wave your arms. Nice, guys. Our next animal is a seal. And the seal can clap his hands. Can you clap your hands? Try to repeat the same pattern as me. Good job. You guys are doing really good today. Right? This is a gorilla. And he can thump on his chest. Can you do that? I can do it, and it makes my voice sound all funny. Good job. All right? This is a cat. She can arch her back. Can you do that? Touch your toes. Like this. I can't touch my toes. Can you do it? <laughs> Good job. Now this is a crocodile. <clears throat> crocodile, sorry. And he can wiggle his hips. Can you try it? Wiggle your hips. Dance around. All right. Now this is a camel, and he can bend his knees. Can you do it? Bend your knees, and back up. Try to jump. Good job. This is the elephant. And this big guy can stomp his foot. 
Can you do that? I can do that. You stomp your feet like that? Good job, guys. And now this is a parrot. And he can wiggle his toes. Can you try it? Can you wiggle your toes? Good job, guys. You guys did really good on that one. All right. So, can you remember which of the animals were which? We had this one. Do you remember which animal that is? It's the penguin. Do you remember which animal this is? That's the giraffe. What about this one? It's a buffalo. And there's our monkey. Can you make it sound like a monkey? <laughs> Remember which animal this is? This is the seal. You guys remember this one. That's a gorilla. You know this animal. Do any of you guys have cats at home? Can you make a cat sound? Meow. Meow. You remember this animal? This is a crocodile. You remember this one? This one is a camel. It lives in the desert. Remember this one? This one is an elephant. If you live near Knoxville, you can see them in the zoo sometimes. And then this little guy, you remember him? That is a parrot. Good job, guys. So that was our first book. Now this is gonna look really weird for a minute because I need to move the table. Right? Just to make sure that when I read the next book, you guys can see the pictures. So the second book we're going to be reading is called The Grouchy Ladybug. This one's by the same guy who did the head to toe book. All right. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug came in from the left and saw a leaf full of aphids and decided that they wanted to have it for breakfast. But then a grouchy ladybug came in from the right. It saw the aphids too and decided it wanted to eat them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. Well, 
we can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine and they're all mine, shouted the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug. It looked the other bugs straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug took a step back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody your own size or a little bit bigger? I'll do that, screamed the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and it flew off. At six o'clock, ooh. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. <laughs> no, we don't want the ladybug to fight anybody. Well, at 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, lifting its stinky tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a big boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating on its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you, insist, said the, if you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, want to fight? 
But the whale didn't answer. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 5.15, it said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you want to fight? Again, it got no answer. So, it flew off. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew off. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? And its tail gave him such a hard slap that it flew across the sea and the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug was back where he started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, said the ladybugs. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance all night. The end. I don't know about you, but I normally see a rhinoceros at noon, not at three o'clock. Our next book is going to be Slowly, Slowly, Said the Sloth. Slowly, slowly said the sloth by Eric Carl. Slowly, 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 the sloth climbed the branch of a tree. And slowly, 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 the sloth ate a leaf. And slowly, 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 the sloth fell asleep. Slowly, 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 the sloth woke up. And all day long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. And all night long, the sloth hung upside down in a tree. Even when it rained, the sloth hung upside down in that tree. Why are you so slow? The howler monkey asked one day. But the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so quiet? The kaiman asked. But the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so boring? The anteater asked. But still, the sloth didn't answer. Tell me, said the jaguar, why are you so lazy? The sloth thought and thought and thought for a very long time. And finally, the sloth, rep the sloth replied, It is true that I am slow, quiet, and boring. I am generally lackadaisical. I dwaddle and dilly-dally. I am also unflappable, languid, stoic, impassive, sluggish, lethargic, placid, calm, mellow, laid back, and well, slothful. I am relaxed and tranquil. 
and I like to live in peace. But I am not lazy. The sloth yawned and said, That's just how I am. I like to do things slowly, slowly, slowly. That's the end. All right, so that concludes all three of our books for story time today. Next week, we will be doing story time at the same time. Um, I'm going to be posting tomorrow what books we will be reading. And throughout the week, if I find any coloring pages or games or anything like that, I'm going to be posting them in the Facebook group. This stream is going to stay up and I'm going to upload it to our new YouTube channel, which I'll post a link to. So you can watch it again at any time. All right, guys. Thank you. And we'll see you next week.